I had a strange dream about my father. That's only natural, considering he's on your mind. What's happened? You'll think I'm even weirder if I tell you. You're not weird, Alex. Just different. I want to, but can't. Not yet. That's okay. When you're ready. I wish I knew more about my father. That's why we're in Egypt. To investigate. And for the fun factor, of course. There's a museum on the outskirts of town. The curator has been there for decades, apparently. Maybe she knows something. Good plan. Even if we don't find any information about your father, it will be interesting to view their collection of artifacts. Indeed. It certainly would. Well, Bill, this is the place. A cottage for two, courtesy of the department. I still can't believe I'm actually in France. Or why you asked me to join you. I didn't want to invite a fellow officer. I have no intention of discussing law enforcement and felons throughout the whole trip. But why me? You're a good company, Bill. Funny too. A refreshing change from the serious nature of my work. In that case, my dear, I'll try not to disappoint you. Some believe that the pyramids are far older than researchers initially assumed. The Sphinx, too. Some even believe that the Sphinx was not created by the Egyptians. Rather, they discovered it, and that it heralds from an ancient, lost civilization. A fascinating theory. But how do you know this? I like to research. Oh, hello there. It's stupendously fortunate to find fellow Brits here. You on vacation too? I'm not British. You speak English? No shit, Sherlock. The name isn't Sherlock, my friend. It's Samuel. Samuel Ramsbottom. And this is my wife. Or partner in crime, Sandra. Finally, other Brits. The Egyptians are a rather peculiar breed. The Egyptians are cool. So, where do you hail from? Gotham City. Can't say I've heard of it. Must be in a remote part of Britain. Riverview, actually. What a bizarre coincidence. Our son is currently in Riverview. That settlement, if you can call it that, is not our cup of tea. Too many damn farmers. Has the Genome Project finally discovered the fucktart gene? You obviously both inherited it. Fucktart gene? Now that the formalities are out of the way, allow us to explain all about our trip. No, detail is too small. No event too insignificant for us Ramsbottoms. Maybe I should have headed to Egypt. Who knows what humongous mess that boy could get himself into. Why so concerned? Alex is 20, old enough to take responsibility for his own actions. You can't protect him forever. Perhaps. But there are extenuating circumstances. Such as? Alex is immature for his age and seems to attract trouble. No issues with the law, though. You did a background check on us. I admit I did. I wanted to learn more before inviting you on vacation with me. That seemed the most expedient method of obtaining this info. 
You could have simply asked. I know, Bill. I'm sorry. It's the nature of my job. So, what did you learn? This looks like the museum. Let's head inside and see what mysteries we can unearth. Maybe they'll have canopic jars. They were used as part of the mummification process. Indeed. Each organ was placed in an individual jar. Except the heart. Scrolls from the Book of the Dead were usually placed inside the sarcophagus to assist with the journey to the afterlife. I thought I was quite knowledgeable about ancient Egyptian culture. But you, Alex? Oh, for fuck's sake, not the she bosses again. Don't you mean the Ransbottoms? I know what I mean. My head feels like it's about to cataclysmically implode. I admit, I had a headache after the last encounter. We can't be rude, though. Why not? They'll just keep on bugging us. Relentlessly. Maybe, but let me do the talking. You can be a little too direct at times, which is amusing, admittedly. I suspect they won't quite see it in the same light, though. Oh, hello again. Got more stories for you, my friend. Samuel and I have something astounding to tell you. It all started when we took four steps to the north. After visiting the Grand Sphinx, which, incidentally, I'm awfully sorry for interrupting, but we must be leaving now. Busy schedule ahead. The Sphinx was there as usual. Not that it would disappear after 4,000 years, but we took those four steps and... Someone smacked you with a sledgehammer? Repeatedly? Alex's father is of Eastern European descent and left the boy in your care almost ten years ago. He vanished off the system not long after. Presumably he returned to his native country. You were given full access to his funds to care for the boy. You have four degrees and two doctorates, which is impressive. I had to do something to keep my mind occupied after I... retired. When was that? Oh, a while back. Alex was homeschooled by none other than you. Indeed, he was. You have done a remarkable job, considering the circumstances. How do you mean? You raised the boy single-handedly, gave him tuition, probably far in advance than any educational establishment could provide. I tried my best. Alex is special and requires a certain kind of guidance. You are special too, Bill. Hallelujah! The ram's bottoms are finally fucked up. How long has it been? Two thousand years? It felt like it, I admit. My head hurts real bad. Mine too. Anyhow, let's speak to the curator. Hello? Anyone there? Monsieur Anton? Is that really you, 